Hello, this will be a video series creating a to-do app with JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. Um, you know, I, I want to do this because I've, I've done some videos on creating a to-do app using Xcode, and I, you know, I've been thinking about the, the, you know, the differences between HTML and native code and I thought, you know, it'd be really cool to make the same app with both both systems and, you know, be able to compare and contrast the experience, right? So so anyway, so here I've got this basic HTML document. You know, it's got the doc type, the HTML head, title, body tag. And I've placed my file here in this folder along with another file named main.js. So I'm going to put my JavaScript in, in main here. And I'm going to start my project off by linking to main.js. So I can put all my JavaScript in there, right? So I'll say source equals main.js, right? Maybe we'll move that to another folder later. But uh, just for right now, to keep things simple, we'll put everything in the same folder, right? So there's our document, right? And really, you know, I'm not going to do anything in this document right now, OK? All I want to do is use this for testing, OK? And so what I'm going to do is open up my index.html file in my browser here. And I'm going to use, um, maybe I'll use Chrome for this. Lately, I've been finding I like Safari better. It's, it's easier on the battery on my laptop. But um, Chrome has the better inspector. Like, I like their... Wait, what? Oh, there we go. Yeah, there's my document there, right? So there's our document loaded in the page. Yeah, I like the inspector in Chrome. So for developing, Chrome is kind of better, but just for everyday browsing, you know, Safari just makes the laptop last longer, you know. Um, anyway, so here we are, and how is our to-do app going to work? You know, I, and to be honest, I'm not super clear on how I'm going to make this work, but let's get, get some general ideas out there, okay? So imagine an app that's going to keep track of things that you want to do, or you know, it could be a list of anything really, right? And so what I need is I need a way to describe each one of those things that I'm going to save, okay? So if I save a to-do item, um, I need to describe that to-do item. So maybe my to-do item has a couple features. It's got a name. It maybe has a property called completed that says whether or not it's been completed or not, right? So maybe it's uncompleted or it is completed, right? And then maybe um, it's got a date, so it has a due date, like when it's due, okay? Um, and, it, you know, it could have other properties too, right? Maybe it could have tags, so you could group um, to-do items in, in groups, right? So let's, let's just describe a basic to-do item here, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the um, sort of JavaScript object pattern here, and I'm going to make a, um, a function called to-do, okay? And my, my to-do function here is going to begin with an uppercase letter because that's how we, you know, we kind of, it's kind of a convention that we represent, um, you know, the, uh, the class of an object with uppercase letters. So objects that are classes, they begin with an uppercase letter, right? Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to say this dot, and we'll name, we'll give the to-do a name, right? So this will be the name of the to-do. And maybe when you create a to-do, you'll pass the name in, and we'll assign it here to this object, okay? And then we'll say, you know, this dot completed equals completed, and then I'll put the completed property up here, okay? Or a completed parameter, right? So when we create a new instance of to-do, we'll pass in the name of the to-do and the completed property, and then we'll assign it here. You know, actually, maybe we don't even need the completed property. Maybe, you know, when you create a new to-do, um, it should not be completed. So, you know, maybe completed should be false, like right when you begin, right? And then you can set it to true later, like, you know what I mean? Like, why are you adding it to your to-do list if it's if it's already complete, right? So maybe this will just be our starting place right here, right? So now, how do we make a, a to-do item, right? So using this method, what we're going to do is we're going to say, like, let's say I make a new to-do item. I'll just call it T, right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to set it equal to new to-do, 
Okay, so notice I'm saying, I'm using the keyword new, and then I'm using the uppercase T, so I'm calling on this method, right? And then I'm going to pass in the name. So this will be like eat breakfast, okay? Right? And what this should do is it should make an, a JavaScript object, which essentially will look like this. Name colon is, you know, eat breakfast, right? And completed colon is false. Okay, so this T right here is this, okay? Um, and now, you know, we can keep track of a whole list of these things. Like we can put them all in an array, right? And then we can delete them from the array, sort the array, add new ones to the array, edit an item in the array, right? Um, so anyway, so this is just to get started. So let, let's just talk about the object. So we, we've got our object here, and it's got its two properties, name and completed, right? And we should be able to make new ones using this syntax, new class name, and then passing in any parameters, right? And then it, that should return, you know, an object of the typical JavaScript form, right? And, uh, you know, just for testing, why don't we um, test this out, right? So and just so we can see something happening here, I'm going to say console log t, right? So let's see exactly what this is and make sure that it's giving us what we think it's going to give us, right? So we're just getting started, right? So um, I'm going to go down here and arrange these windows so I can see them both together. And then I'm going to bring up the console here. So there's my console, and then I'll grab the um, JavaScript console here, and then I'm going to refresh my page there. I hit save by mistake. I meant to do refresh, and there we go. To do is name breakfast completed is false. Okay, so that's that looks pretty good, right? I'm just, console log is just going to print the to do into the window here, right? And that looks like we got exactly what we expected, okay? Okay, so what do we do next? Well, um, let's make a um, an array so we can keep track of all the to-dos that, that we created, right? So maybe, um, maybe we need a var up here, and we'll call it, I don't want to confuse anybody, I'm going to call it to-dos with an S, right? Maybe we should have called it to-do array or something, right? But uh, I'll call it to-dos with an S because that's all the to-dos together, right? This is lowercase t, right? So this is a totally different variable than this one, right? And we'll initialize this as an empty array, okay? And so maybe, you know, every time we create a to-do like this, what we'll do is we'll, you know, we'll push it into the, um, into the array. So we'll say, you know, to-dos dot push, right, and then we'll we'll push t into the array, right? So now, you know, if we said, you know, console dot log, and then we, we log to do's, right, let's see what we get, right? So now now notice this one, this is like the, the log, the console's trying to tell us it's like this is an object of the to do class, and then this is the actual value, you know, it begins with the curly bracket and ends with the curly bracket there. And now if I if I refresh this, you can see now it says to do, but it's inside the square bracket. So essentially it's saying like, hey, this is an array that contains a, you know, item of class to do. And then if I click the triangle here, you can see it kind of breaks, um, breaks open and displays all the properties of this object, right? So it's got, you know, a, um, you know, length and a prototype property. But then this this one right here at it you know the the number means the index of the element in here so the item at element at index zero is is a to do and if I open that up you can see it's got the completed and the name property so essentially it's all the same information but it's arranged a little bit differently right so you know so this is working pretty good but uh, really what we need <coughs> is we need a system where you can add new to dos easily right. So what I think I'm going to do is, you know, let's get rid of this. Like this will be kind of some core stuff right here that we're going to use, right? And what I think I'm going to do right here is um, make a function. So I'm going to make a function. 
I'll call it add new to do with name. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm going to make it a nice long function name. This function name says exactly what it does, right? It adds a new to do with a name. Oh, wait, I got to put the name in here, right? So you're going to pass the name to this function. And then what does this function do? Well, this function is going to say um, var t equals to do uppercase, right? Um, with a name, right? So this name right here is the same name that we have here, like this value whatever this variable contains is going to get passed along to here and to here and to here and to here, right? Um, and then, uh, you know, since we got the T right here, maybe we'll say um, to do's dot push this item called T, right? Okay, so we'll just, you know, that's pretty much the code that we had just a minute ago, but now it's kind of wrapped in this function. So so now every time I want to add a to-do, I can say, you know, add to-do with name, right? And then I'll put the name in here. This one will be like eat breakfast. Uh, maybe we'll do add to-do with name, brush teeth. Maybe I should have put the semicolon there, right? Um, and maybe we want to add to do with name. And what else do we do? Um, we tie shoes, you know, right? Okay. And that's all pretty good. So, you know, I, I think that's looking pretty good. Uh, maybe we should test it, right? We kind of have some stuff here, but maybe we want to know if it's working correctly, right? So console log to the rescue. And we'll say, let's log the to-dos array. Okay, so we'll save all that. We'll go back to the uh, to the other browser here, and uh, and then we'll uh, you know log or you know refresh and see what the log shows, right? So I'll refresh here, and you can see. Oh wait, I got undefined, undefined, undefined. I made a mistake there. Let's see. Um, oh wait, I put to do. I think I think I'm okay here. What could be the problem there? Um, let's take a look. This is undefined. Why am I getting undefined? Let's take a look here. Um, I said push T. Well, let's give it a test. So what if I did this? What if I said console log, right? And we log T. So maybe like, you know, if our if our variable, you know, to T does not contain a to do, and then we tried to push that into the array, it would it would be nothing, right? So. Let's give that a check there. Yeah, that's undefined. Why is that undefined? Let's see, what am I doing wrong here? Um, uh, oh, I forgot. We got to say new in front of to do, right? There we go. So anyway, sorry about that. Uh, I forgot, right? So, so anyway, so there we got our to do. Let's give it another test, right? So it's got to be new to do, right? Pat yourself on the back if you caught that one before I did. Oh, there we go. So I got three to-dos, and then if I open this up, you can see the first to-do in the array is at index zero. The next one's at index one, index two, and all of these to-dos have a name and a completed property. Okay, so that's looking pretty good, right? Um, and uh, you know, we'll we'll add more to this. Maybe just to keep the video short, I'll stop here because I think this gets us started in a pretty good way, right? The concept here is we'll have an array to keep to-dos. We've got a, a, a class function here to define a to-do. And if we want to add more features to the to-do, we can do it here. And then we've got a function here where we can add new to-dos. Now, this function here kind of points to a lot of the functions that we're going to write in the future. We're going to just write these utility functions that do things with our to-do app. So, you know, our to-do app will need to add new to-dos. It'll need to remove to-dos or delete to-dos, right? Maybe I'll, I'll block that in. So I'll say uh, remove to-do, right? Maybe it'll need to, um, you know, get to-do, right? We'll need to fetch a to-do from the array, right? Um, you know, we'll have some other features in here too, right? But what we're going to do is we're just going to write a function to handle each one of those. And then that way we can wrap all of this together into a sort of a, an, an object that has all this 
stuff built into it, and that'll make it easy for us to to manipulate and uh, and work with the to-do elements, right? And then we'll do some other features too. I'm thinking in the future maybe we'll um, use local storage, or maybe we'll use parse or something to um, to store the to-dos in the cloud. Okay, but anyway, this gets us started. And thanks for watching.